What's going on, everybody? Today, we're doing a pretty sweet stipulation for Dockman 93. It's called Enchantment Town. Unless you open either Thousand Year Storm or Experimental Frenzy, then you can build around those instead. Power and lands can be taken over enchantments. <laughs> this, is a, boy, this is a thing here. I don't know how many enchantments are actually in this cube. Or what colors have the most enchantments. I would imagine it's like white and red. I'm going to take Mox because I think it's probably better than Mana Crypt. I don't know if that's true or not. I think it's... I think it's it feels true. I'm going to take Mox. Uh, the reason I take Mox is because I don't die to it. It's not possible to die to the Mox. Okay. Bribery is an enchantment. Wow, I had no idea. I don't see any enchantments here, so I'm going to actually just take whatever. And I kind of lean towards Baneslayer, but I also kind of like Is It Signet. I feel like it's Is It Signet. What a cool, weird, made up word. That's true. Gotta have life calls and just sitting around waiting to die. What's even going on here? Shave while you draft. I don't think that's a stipulation. I think that's just a, a weird life request. Um, I kind of want just Baneslayer. I think it's either Baneslayer or is it Signet. I think we're going to go with the Signet. I'll, we can keep ourselves open here. Any enchantments here? No enchantments here either. All right, I'm going to pick lands pretty highly just because I don't want to uh, lock ourselves into any specific colors. Uh, I think Windswept Teeth is probably the safe pick here. Oh, but a jiff. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's you. I don't think it's Frankel Farts, that's for sure. I don't think Frankel Farts is the real Frank. Land tax. That's got to be better than Harpy of Spring, right? Oh, Yawgmaw Spark and also an enchantment. I like Land Tax because it tries to... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Mana Crypt Soul Ring and Library are... They're, they're like second tier power, yes. Um... Yeah, now I get to choose, which is nice. We get, like, three packs with no enchantments, then one pack with three enchantments. What a time to be alive. I kind of feel like we can avoid black. I think it's land tax here. I'm not super thrilled on heartbeat. And land tax is obviously very strong. All right, no enchantments here, so we're good. Path to Exile seems nice. True Name Nemesis also seems pretty good. That's a... That's a... F something. That's a for something. Opposition would be nice. Land tax gets a bunch of to get a bunch get a bunch of signets. I think you said it gets a bunch of signets, which is a funny joke because then you're just like saying it it searches your library for signets. Uh, land tax is bad if you know maybe I don't think that's true. I think it, even if you have like six basics in your deck, land tax being able to draw you three or four cards one or two times is completely fine. Um. I think just because you can't maximize like 10, 10 turns in a row searching out three lands, I don't think that makes it bad at all. I'm going to take True Name Nemesis. I think it's way stronger than... All right, so unfortunately there aren't a ton of enchantments, but on the other hand, it, I think that might be good because it might actually hinder us from building a decent deck. I'm probably just going to take the Arid Mesa here. Uh, you can only unmorph a creature, not an enchantment. I think it's Arid Mesa. Uh, nothing. I think Kodama's Reach could be good. We have a Mox Emerald to Windswept Teeth. I don't care about Razor Verge Thicket. I kind of like Deranged Hermit, though, just because I want to be able to... Uh, if I, if we hit an opposition, I'd kind of like to be able to play it, play it. And we can go Bant and then like maybe have like a Red Splash. It's probably just Kodama's Reach, just right? Like... Turn two Kodama's Reach seems really good. All right. 
legendary creature, not an enchantment. Um, well, Lumbering Falls is probably more important than any of these other cards. But if we're playing enchantments, maybe Day of Judgment's really good. I'm going to take Lumbering Falls. No enchantments came back because there were none to begin with. <laughs> Flight of Autumn. Uh, Kiora could be decent. I'm the fake Franklin man my whole life. Yeah, you knew. You knew you were fake, you Frankl farts imposter. I kind of like Night of Autumn. We're playing white and green. Oh, the Bane Slayer came back, which is nice. Also, Wall of Roots could be good. I'm pretty sure we're blue-green splashing, like, white and red here. <laughs> Shocked face is right. Shocked face is right. Um, yeah, I like Bane Slayer here. Stomping Ground is nice. We can get it with Arid Mesa and Windswept Teeth. Gideon also not bad. I want to take the Gideon. I don't really care about the... Oh, Yawgmoth's Bargain. Okay, well. That is a thing. Path to Exile came back. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Uh, Vampire Nighthawk? Okay. Well, we have black cards now and red cards. This is interesting. I'm old enough to to when General Mills was going to release Frank, Frankel Fart cereal and scrapped a last minute made Frankenberry cereal instead. Good choice, yeah. It was Farts into Berries, which is a good... I think that's a good change. Uh, Sulfuric Vortex, don't be the only... Oh, no, why are you the only enchantment in the pack? Uh, we can take lands over enchantments, though, right? Lands and power. I think we're going to actually... This doesn't do anything for us. I'd rather just have the Blood Crypt because we can get it with Arid Mesa. And it does let us play the Bargain if we want to. So I think we're just taking Blood Crypt here. I'm going to utilize one of my lands over over enchantments here. Oh, uh, Legion's Landing is an enchantment. It's a playable thing. Wow, we're having Crater Hoof, though. Brutal. Opposition. Come on. Let's do it. No, 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 no. Oh! So this is a real ask and you shall receive situation, right? Where we just, uh... We universe is a simulation there. We harness our... <laughs> What are the, like I say, opposition, opposition one time, let's do it, and then it shows up in the next pack. Like, what are the odds of that? Someone break that down for me. Because there's also 540 cards in the cube, and only 360 of them are present, right? So 180 of them aren't even here. So it would have to be literally the next pack. Someone else had to not take it, and it had to be in the 360 out of 540. So I don't know, man. That's a, those seem like some odds. However, I'm also convinced the universe is indeed a simulation that revolves around me. And you guys are just part of my simulation. So. Wow. And the moat? Wow. We just have it all. Those are like the two enchantments I wanted. I also like necromancy, but I think i just rather stick with the, uh, the green-white-red deck. Do it again and try to get us a moat. <laughs> okay. Uh, done. We're all just, yeah, you're just farts in my simulation. That's all. Just farts in a simulation. All right. So the no, so we can either take creeping tar pit, which I don't think we're, I don't think we're black. I don't think we need to be black just for the bargain, which also takes Gala Shrine off the table. We could be primeval tightening or jacing. Dun, dun, dun. Prime time and land tax. Super combo. We're not red, no. So we have no reason to take a red card. I think it's prime time. I think prime time is strong enough that we take that, dude. Oh, parallax wave is actually not terrible. I would love to take a temple garden here. Um, But I think it's parallax wave. Especially because we have a bunch of things that we can blink. Yeah, we'll take Parallax Wave. 
Consider that your simulation and my simulation are actually overlaid on top of each other, and where there are discrepancies between them, they cause awful things to happen in other simulations. Oh, that sounds bad. This is an enchantment, and I think it's actually a fine one. Scrubland? Oath of Druids. If some player chooses an enchantment, it comes to the from the first player may reveal cards on the top of their library until they reveal a creature card. You know what? Let's do it. Farts in a Simulation was the working title for Dust in the Wind. Yeah, it's very similar. It's basically the same thing. All we are is farts in the sim. Uh, gotta take Vortex now because there's no land. I would love a Manglehorn, but it is what it is. If you hit Night, you can blow it up. Blow what up. Legionnaire actually, eh, kind of like Nahiri here. We have a fixing for it. Frantic Search? All right, we'll take Frantic Search. That seems fine. I don't love it, but I'll take it. Angel seems good, especially with Bane Slayer. Or with Moat, rather. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Hero of Bladehold. Sort of Light and Shadow. We'll Hero of Bladehold. If we're not, if we're not, uh, moting. This is a very interesting Bant deck. Alright, Creeping Tarpet it is. Sounds fine. I like Spectral Procession, actually, because of the opposition, but... Yeah, let's go Spectral. Gifts. Trostani's actually great here. All right. All opposition cards. Oh, uh, any power, any power. Power, 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 power. Mana Flare. Gross. Probably taking Colonnade here. Um, yeah, we definitely want more fixing. Like, especially if we're not playing black. I don't think it's Foothills. Yeah, it's definitely Colonnade. We just want a blue-white land. We are very heavy blue-white here. Oh! Oof. Face Fetters is good. If Face Fetters tables, I'll be pretty glad. Uh, yeah, we're just taking Mox Ruby here. Double Mox seems pretty busted. All we are is dust in the wind. Got the two moxes. That's pretty good. I would like something to search with an Arid Mason and Windswept Heath, like a Temple Garden or a Savannah or a Hollowed Fountain. A Tundra, perhaps. Nothing. Brain Maggot is an enchantment, awkwardly enough. Maybe I hear the Brain Maggot's calling. I think Devoted Druid's much better, but we're going to take the Brain Maggot because it is a creepy, it's a sneaky enchantment. AirPods, so let's play a game. AirPods or Flaws? AirPods. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just take Brain Maggot here. Again, I don't think we're playing it because we don't have ways to really play the black cards. But... Yikes. Oh, Honor of the Pure actually seems pretty decent. I 
I mean, we have a bunch of white creatures. Spectral, Hero, Gideon, Baneslayer, Angel, Tristani. Even Knight of Autumn gets plus one, plus one. All right. All right. Okay. Excuse me. Monastery Mentor. Oh, there. Oh, Sea Chrome Coast. I was excited. I thought it was a better one. Oh, Bitter Blossom? Maybe we are black now. Yikes. Maybe black is back on the menu, boys. I mean, more so because we have um, opposition, right? So. All right, no enchantments here, so we can do. Uh, Leshorn seems good, especially with tokens. Uh, no enchantments. Okay. Can you mix a wall of omens? Might just be wall of omens, just for the um. Just so we can hit our things. Maybe we cut blue. It's definitely an option. I mean, it sucks losing opposition, but we don't actually have great fixing for it. We just literally have Colony and Lumbering Falls. There has not been a lot of fixing. I want to take Kitchen Finks, I think. That's an enchantment. That's a good one, too. It feels really bad losing opposition, though. Our blue is pretty meh, other than opposition. Like, True Name Nemesis is also very hard to cast. Oh, Mana Flare. What are you going to do? Why, what are you going to do, you know? All right, so a bunch of lands that we can take, which is great. Stirring Wildwood is interesting. I like our blue better than our... I'm going to take this because I know we're definitely playing these two colors. Um, Brimaz is good in the deck. Yeah, Brimaz is good. Eh, Mom is good. Oh, actually, Blooming Marsh is good for the other cards. Dang it. Yeah, we'll just take the Blooming Marsh. Oh, Phyrexian Arena. All right. Well. Hmm. Terastodon. Yeah, we didn't get, actually get anything for Arid Mesa or Windswept Heath, so that's pretty frustrating. I guess Arid Mesa actually. Actually, Arid Mesa gets a white and it gets a Blood Crypt. Whew. We got some fixing to do, boys. Okay, some of these three drops are leaving. Frantic Search can come out. Moat seems bad. Like, we don't have that many flyers. We just have Bane Slayer and Angel and Spectral Procession. We have two blue fixing lands, Lumbering Falls and Celestial Colonnade. And we have Visit Signet. And we have land tax. So, like, I mean, we actually have ways to get lands. We also have Kodama's Reach. Um, yeah, True Name seems bad here. I actually don't love Oath of Druids. We're never going to have more creatures. So we're definitely going to be like... Uh, by Junk, I assume you mean Abzan. <laughs> I mean, six sources of blue fixing isn't bad when you have prime time. Is it Signet, Kodama's Reach, Land Tax? Like, and you're also going to play Islands. Two cuts. I think all these are good. All of these are great. All of these are good. God, I like everything else in the deck, which is really sad. Oh, Arena can come out because it's double black. I like that. And now we have 24. Uh, I think blue is definitely worth it with opposition. Even if you go like Primeval Titan, get two blue sources, then play opposition on like turn 10. Uh, it's still pretty insane. Like it gets to a point where you can just lock them out of games. I think mode is probably the cut here because we actually have a ton of creatures on the ground that want to attack. I think this is... That actually looks pretty okay now. How many enchantments do we have so we can see if we can 
Actually, a good amount. Wow, more than I thought. Um, just for people in the YouTube comments who are like, you didn't have enough enchantments. We have nine enchantments. That's actually pretty good. Not including land. That's over a third of the deck. And we cut three of them, basically. Because there's no realistic way we're playing mana. Mana Flare or Sweltering Suns, so... Brian, what's going on? Merry Christmas, buddy. No word on that box, though. Three, three, four weeks out. No word on that box. Just a mystery box. All right. Uh, I think we actually still play Blood Crypt because we can get it with Arid Mesa, which lets us get black and white with Arid Mesa. So I think that's fine. I literally said I didn't expect 10 plus a chance. Very impressed you have nine of the deck. Oh, I didn't even see you say that. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So let's actually sort by color here. So heavy white, not so heavy blue. Okay, so black, uh, dude. Ruby is weird because it's like just in a weird situation. I, I yes, Brian, that is the only one you've mentioned. <laughs> All right, so. Um. We have two black cards, which is great because we have Arid Mesa, Blood Crypt, Blooming Marsh. Um, it's three sources, so one black is probably fine. So we can we want to search for it. So we want one of every color that we're playing at least. Five white seems like a bit much. How many? How much white do we have? One, two, three, four. We'll probably go down to eight here. Um. Have you done any draft videos for any? Yeah, I've done a bunch of draft videos for another on my YouTube channel. Um, green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eh, probably go up to seven. Maybe six is fine. Um, Sagas are enchantments. Brian, I would definitely tell you if I got it. Also, don't you have tracking info? Didn't you say you have tracking info? If you have tracking info, like, like, either send it to me or or like check it, bro. Like, you, I mean, like it'll it'll tell you that I didn't get it. That seems like a lot. That seems like a big package to not have tracking on, right? So, blue, we have one. I'm trying to figure out the mana base. One, two, three, four. And we're not going to Arid Mesa. Yeah, so it's basically four blue sources for, for one opposition. It seems fine. I kind of want a second blue source just so we can search for both of them. But also if we get Primeval Titan, we can... And I think that's actually fine. It's only one card, right? Uh, four, five, six, seven. Oh, do we get one more? That's actually awesome. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't actually need green early. We need green by turn three, which is totally fine. Black we have enough, blue we have enough, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just gonna add a second blue here. Yeah, this looks this deck looks sweet. I don't know if it's good, but it looks sweet. So I'm I'm excited about it. Oh, we're playing Magic Player 1152004. Usually when you have a name like this, this is like the default name that Magic Online gives you when your account has been like, uh, like if your name was, was flagged. This is actually good. Turn two Signet into turn three Gideon. We're just going to get a friggin' planes here, which is unfortunate. Not ideal. Well, now we're going to get a Blood Crypt. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Good times, good times. You're saying he's probably a stand-up dude then. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, like, that's not always the case, but, I, like, I mean, maybe it is always the case, actually, because Magic Player is the default name, and, like, I don't know, I can't imagine you'd name yourself Magic Player 1152004. Maybe it happened on January 15th, 2004, and then they just kept that name for the next eight, 14 years. Yeah, that seems fine. Gideon make a guy here seems pretty safe. Oh, history of Benalia, fashion relate to the party. Their name was probably Frankel Farts, and then they were like, wow, this is an inappropriate name for Magic the Gathering Online. Come at me, Cobra. Cobro. Come at me, Cobro. Do you even lift Cobro? He don't. Back in the day, I used to play a pirate game, and the default name was Incognito. I didn't know what that meant, so I always kept thinking it sounded odd. It does. I mean, Incognito is a cool-sounding word. It sounds really foreign and exciting. <laughs> oh, Ancestral Recall. That's a cool spell. In death, they have a name. His name was Magic Player 1152004. His name was Magic Player 1152004. Here comes a wild wood. Oh, plow under, I see. Well then. It's actually really awkward because we can't cast history. No, no, I'm not talking about his story. Shaco, you can just post it in the chat if you'd like, and people can take a gander at it. Really should have the Goddess Shrine after all now. Now I feel silly because I could play Goddess Shrine and uh, then I'd have a black and a white. Right now we want a second white source that isn't the planes that's on the top of our deck. Because we have two white cards in our hand. Uh, why don't we play history? Because we can't. We'll have to use a white source to activate Is it Signet, and then we have one white source left over, and this costs two white. Because magic does not work that way. Cheshire Pratt. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh man, you definitely need some cuts here. I'm too tired to think today. It happens. That's life. When do Prime subs reset? A month from when you when you subscribed. If you subscribe today, they will reset a month from now. There's no set date. Total eclipse of the fart. Thank you. Big White, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm not actually sure the sub counter is working because we got like 10 gifted subs earlier and I don't think it moved. The needle did not move. Turn around, Brian. Every now and then I won't run. I feel like they're really... uh. They're really doing a number on us from this plow under five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> cool. Who's that in your profile picture on Instagram? Um, it's my friend Yoakum's daughter, Mia, who is one of my favorite people on the planet. Uh, 
Oh god, if I could just stop playing against Sundering Titans, I'd be really thrilled. And when they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, and we have two, yeah, that's pretty good. Really? Nah, bro. I just don't even think we can draw the planes here. Hey, Saru, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Happy Subversary and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. This is where like, Phantasmal Image, I'll copy the Sundering Titan. Oh, gross. <sighs> Long time YouTube viewer just here for the God tier emotes. <laughs> Glad you think so. Glad you think so. That's fine. Feels like I asked something wrong there when you said was. Um, what did I, didn't, did I say was? I definitely didn't mean to say was. That is my friend Yoakum's daughter Mia, who, who is one of my favorite people on the planet. I don't think I said was. Uh, Mike is working. He, oh my god, are you serious? Oh god. Let the record show that we called it. And, uh... I'm going to play a fantastical image and copy my Sundering Titan. Jesus. Oh, my God. Well, Biscuits. I think our deck is good. Actually, I kind of like Moat here. It feels weird, but maybe I don't. It stops Sundering Titan from attacking, but I don't think it's actually super... I don't think I care about that. Like, I can't, like... I can't, like, play around a s an 8-drop not attacking us. I guess we're playing first. Uh, no, because uh, A, we didn't have two white sources, and B, when you exile Sundering Titan, it triggers again. So uh, I'm going to keep this hand because of land tax. And they just come back, and then they trigger again. So, like, unless we want four more land, four more Sundering Titan triggers, like, Sundering Titan triggers when it leaves the battlefield and when it enters the battlefield. Well, biscuits. Let's go get a blood crypt here. I mean, if we hit lands, we're going to play our spells. If we don't hit lands, we got land tax, so. Can you make a spreadsheet to track your trophies? 2 one one 2 and 3 finishes for all 2019? Yeah, you know what else I can do? I can have them make silver 
and bronze trophies in Magic Online, and then they do it for us. Go ahead, play a land. I dare you. I dare you. Or don't play a land. See if I care. This is the this is the moment of truth. Like in the uh, in the in the vintage cube standoff, you're like, do I play a land? Can I survive by just playing four drops? I don't know. Look, they're not gonna play a land. Actual scums McGee over here, not playing a land. I have two other mana sources that I will get for free. I don't even need to play lands against you. Well, I don't have any option to. It's not like I'm avoiding playing lands, so. This is where he's like, I have no option now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. You just get to go. F if they go, like, if they go Forest Sundering Titan, they just get to kill Forest Planes. And then we have no lands and this game is over. Oh, take a gander. They're going to name opposition. What a bunch of scumbags. Are you just really not going to play any more lands? Like, come on. Don't be this guy. Don't be the guy who who denies me lands. Oh, Parallax Wave. Fascinating. He's like, you don't even have double blue, you nerd. pretty good and they're like finally I can play a land I'm gonna remand this to your head oh mana lake sure you got it buddy congratulations did you do something to the lands that made them really hate you early on here because you seem to get flooded screw more than every any person I've ever watched play this game? It's funny because I actually think, I, I've said this before, but I always think it's in my head, like maybe I'm just making a big deal out of nothing or maybe it's just uh, confirmation bias. But then so many people actually tell me that, that yeah, I kind of wonder if that's the case. Look, they played a third forest. Good Lord, man. And we're done. Yep, that'll do. Sundering Titan is a cool magic card that I'm not thrilled about playing against three times in this in this day. So we're going to try again. I don't think our deck is actually that bad. I think we just kind of got mana screwed there, and our opponent uh, had Sundering Titan both games. So... Turn around, bright eyes. I will play first. Oh, look at this. Look at this beauty. Got a green, a white, and a mox ruby. Keeping. Snap it. Snap it off. I can't wait to see Magic Game, you versus John. A, I want to see if you can draw more lands. It's definitely going to be John, but it's going to be real close. I'm going to give him a run for his money, that's for sure.
we're just playing a uh, a four three here. Seems good. Turn two four three, decent. At least land tax will trigger. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's a good point. Dang it, our lands get us again. This is why we played so many white sources, but alas, no bueno. So actually, our, our previous opponent was Gabe Carlton Barnes. He said, sorry about that, champ. It was really funny from my side, though. <laughs> oh, man. Gabe Carlton Barnes, ladies and gentlemen. Gabe Carlton Barnes actually teamed with for Pro Tour... I don't know. It was Hawaii. It was one of them. I think it was uh, Shadows Over Innistrad. Or the one after that. Yeah, he said playing on a friend's account, his terrible username is because the original was offensive and they made him change it. That's literally exactly what I said. That's perfect. He used to be a grinder here in PDA. Yeah, actually, Gabe Carlton Barnes is, a, is, is an awesome dude. Super, super cool. Everyone thinks it's just in their own head, and most of the time they're right, but I've watched the stream for a while now, and your mana luck is definitely worse than mine. That's so weird. I don't even know why. Can I just get one white source to cast any of these five double white cards? Sure, Manglehorn. You got it. Well, now I can cast any of these three. Can't say. Sorry about the beatings. All is forgiven. We good. Yep. Hoisted by our own petard again. It is turn five. We have missed two land drops. Uh, technically just one because Mox Ruby is one of our lands. However, it's still a big deal. So, I don't really feel like I can beat this, but I guess we'll just keep it up. nothing you know what sure <laughs> why not i don't know i'm just saying the five four seems good yeah this looks cyborg tech wow diffuses a sundering titan i swear to god it's gonna be like tooth and nail yep all right that's all i need to see wow this is not going as well i feel like our deck isn't bad like the cards are good like we have kodama's reach we have Lots of lands. We have Signet. We have land tax. Like, I don't understand. Let's take out one of the spears. Yeah, these draws have been pretty bad. I don't want to default to that. Oh, I'll keep this. I'm pretty sure we're also going to... I don't think it matters if we turn one land tax. I think we're just going to play wood. Like, they're going to play a land and we're just going to not be able to search anyway, so... Have we drawn a mox? We literally just had one last game. I'm not going to go crazy. We have enough lands to actually play things, so I'm not going to go crazy with the land tax here, but if they want to far seek. Oh, Green Sun Zedith for a bird of paradise. How did he know that? God, he's a wizard. 
Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Let's get a green. We can get Blood Crypt with this. Let's get a green and a white. Oh, that's not what we wanted to do. I meant a blue and a white. Ugh. I'm having a bad day. Now we're never gonna land tax. Misclicks are so bad on Magic Online. All right, Warm Power Stone, you got it. Tristani seems pretty good here, though. Into, into We can just get it with Primeval Titan, so I'm not too concerned with it. Oh, actually... Yeah, let's kill your Warm Power Stone. And next turn we can Prime Time. Get the other. I'll get a Lumbering Falls and, like, something else. That seems fine. And the problem is our deck is very mana intensive, so like just being able to hit like a red mox is pretty bad. It's just basically a colorless land. Well then, speak of the devil. Cast this. Cast you. Let's go Lumbering Falls, Colonnade. Play this. I don't think we're ever getting action off of uh, land tax. However... Trostani in opposition next turn is pretty good, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I think this game is over. <laughs> well, now they get to kill all three of these and then none of their own lands. Yeah, that's... Oh! Oh! Oh, that's actually great. That's so much better for us. Wow. Yeah, we're going to get this because we're just going to assume you're never going to be able to. Uh, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're going to go opposition here. I agree with you on land tax. I think it could be very strong. Um, let's go tap here. Let's get two more lands out of the deck. Let's just get a plains and an island. Oh, there you go. All you needed, all we needed was an opposition, guys. All we needed was an opposition. God, and they're tinkering. Jeez. On the bright side, we can we can we can spear of Heliod to destroy the Blightsteel Colossus after it hits us. Uh, Jk, that's not how that works. This hand seems pretty good, actually. Yeah, we'll keep this. <clears throat> I mean, it's only one land, but we're on the draw, so... We can also play either, either one of these on turn one. Planes. Bane Slayer Angel, huh? Okay. Um... I'm actually going to play Honor this turn because I, if I get a land, I'd rather play Knight of Autumn next turn. And then in a future turn, Legion's Landing just is... Uh... Are we supposed to play every enchantment? No, definitely not. That would be ridiculous. And you, your deck would be unplayable. Like, that's just not enjoyable for anybody. At least that would be my assessment. Like... 
Doc Man is more than welcome to. Oh, that was a great draw. Wow. Butter my biscuits. The point of a stiff draft is to make your draft the most unplayable possible. Wow. That is news to me. Um, yikes. So this is, we're like, if we get one more white source, we can play this, which is great. Legion's Landing is is okay here as a 2-2. I kind of like Knight as a 5-4, although I do like, like if they go like Worn Power Stone, I'm going to feel bad that I haven't killed it. But I think 5-4 is good. All right, they didn't do anything. Oh, that was a, okay. Well, sometimes you just have it all, I guess. It's got a white and a blue here. Uh, blue and planes. We can pull this into play. Play this for a turn. Play Legion's Landing. Yep, get in there. I never said every single enchantment possible. That would be... Yeah, that's why I agree. Like, just throwing Mana Flare and, like, Yawgmoth's Bargain in our, in our deck is just kind of comical. Oh, Nature's Claim on the thing. All right, sure. I think they're onto us. The jig is up. That's nice because it gets us not anything we really care about here. Um, I'm just going to play Baneslayer here. They're, they're pretty far behind, and I think Baneslayer is a little bit stronger. Yeah, you're not going in there. Don't be ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think we're one away from Sundering Titan here, right? <sighs> Blightsteel, Sundering Titan in hand. They've had nothing. Cause like Baneslayer. All right. That's actually not as bad. It's still pretty rough. It's still pretty rough. Oh, this stupid windswept heath, man. Wow. God, if we had a second blue source, can you even imagine? Well. Let's make servos. Because now this gets in there for a lot. They're at six. That's pretty good. So what are we sacrificing? We're gonna sacrifice four. Yeah, this this is not terribly hard. Um, let's get rid of Mox. One, two, three, four. It's Legion's Landing, Servo, Servo. Unfortunately, if we hit Lumbering Falls, it's not going to let us cast our thing. Celestial Colony is not going to let us cast our thing. Forest is not going to let us cast our thing. Oh, that is pretty bad. All right, eight in the air. I mean, I don't think they can attack with Baneslayer anymore. In my face, I guess. Uh, this is a lot of damage, so we'll just chump lock you. I guess hope you don't have anything. Oh, this is actually the wrong block. We should have actually blocked with this guy so that... Oh, God, I think we just cost ourselves the game. Wow. So bad. One, two, three, four. Actually, I think we're still fine. They have one card, and I don't think it does anything. I think we just... I think we... Yeah, we, we definitely misplayed there, but... um, Like, we just... We're at 18. We got blocks. Oh, wow. 
This is aggressive. One, two, three, four. Block Kazi. So I guess you have to have something or else you die to Baneslayer. God, I can't believe we threw away the spirit token. We just weren't thinking we were playing too fast. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. We're really pushing the limits here. Oh, that sack was so bad. Are you dead? We have no lands in play. Three floaty boys. <laughs> wow. Oh, amazing. Must be nice. Yep, and that's game. Yeah, we threw that one away. That was our own fault for sacrificing the wrong guy. Yep. O2, yeah, that was super bad. We could have actually won that match. We'd literally win that match if we just sacked a different guy or like a land that was irrelevant at that time. <sighs> That's frustrating. Sorry about that, guys. Two hundred bits, Bono. Thank you so much for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. That is life, but it's the problem is that it doesn't have to be life. You know, like if we just played a little slower and actually took the time to assess the board a little bit more. Like I just figured the tokens were the most indispensable thing on the board, and uh, or the most dispensable thing on the board rather. And um, uh, this hand seems good. And that being the case, I was just it was easy to just throw one away. A forest would be nice here. You win some and you lose some and then you drink. Wow. Oh, well, it's soaring. This is gonna this is gonna go well. Forest one time. Don't do me like this. Wow. Thran soaring into Thran Dynamo into Coalition Relic. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, that's pretty good. One, two, three. Knight of Autumn. Destroy an artifact or an enchantment. I'm going to get rid of this one. Thran Dynamo makes one more mana. I'm going to add a counter to it in response. But having them access to two colors is pretty scary, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, seems good. Seems good. So one, two, three, four, five, Tristani. Uh Elspeth and Elspeth. They just double block here and single block here. I guess that's fine. Like we have to actually kill the Elspeth, which is the big issue. And I just shove all four in here, but then Elspeth dies. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right now, Elspeth goes to one. Sure. I mean, it's better to make a guy, make a kitchen finks, or to make a token. One, two, three, activate. If we had one more green or one more white, we could do both. 
One, two, three. We have four lands, five lands, so there are three. So land tax isn't going to do us much. It's probably just better to have a Finx here. No, that's not going to do it. One, two, three. Get your Finx. Actually, like I said, if we, if we draw a land, we can do both, right? So I think it's actually better to, to make a guy here because it gives us more to do on the turns where we don't have a creature to play. So kind of a thing. Right, Adanto is white, but we can't activate it and play Kitchen Finx because you need a white to activate. I'm well aware that Adanto is white. So now we can play this and Kitchen Finks, which is pretty sweet. They have four cards in hand. I guess they're going to remand this. All right. Can't play Finks here. So I think they're just going to let Elspeth die. No. Oh, they're just going to triple block. Sure. So. I thought the Adanta was white. Hey -o. Wow, sometimes you just get there, dude. Wow. <laughs> oh man. That was amazing. Oh, gilded low to say. Frost Titan? Sure. Sure. I'll try to Frost Titan for either one of these guys. And this makes four fours now? Yeah, let's do all of this. I got soul, but I'm not a soldier. Um, yeah, we're just attacking. If you want to take eight here, it's to totes fine. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like we're ahead. Are they going to wipe the board here? They have to wipe the board here, so that's unfortunate. We have a Danto and Kitchen Finks. They didn't wipe the board here. They have Condemn? Sure. I'll give you another turn. Do you guys hear these dogs? Sphinx is rev. Oh, so yeah, we couldn't we couldn't have killed you anyway, which is pretty fine. Like if they're attacking into us with Titan. And they're they're letting a lush attack. They're trying to say something here. So, terminus, Ulamog. God, sometimes you just have to fight against everything. That's really obnoxious. Wow, and you still had three left over. Cool. Settle is not in the queue, as far as I know. Someone said it wasn't. So. up when I know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the man who left home to you mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
unfortunately, double white, double white. Hmm. Welp. Sphinx is rough for nine into Ulamog. Seems good. God, we tried, like, we worked so hard for this game, too. Like, it's like, oh, cool, we'll just play Aleshnorn, kill your Elspeth tokens, kill your Elspeth, kill your Karn. Wow, that has to pull us way ahead. Oh, no, you have Frost Titan. Yep, we have four cards left in our deck. No interest in blocking this dude whatsoever. Did Opposition get exiled? Oh my god, Opposition didn't get exiled? Oh my god, what if we just hit Opposition here? I mean, and they don't have, what if they don't have a counter spell for it? Gideon Jura, that's good, that's good. Yeah, just keep, just keep playing things. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, you got it. Oh, oh, the white sword sounds good. Brimaz, yep, that ain't gonna do it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Let me guess, next card opposition? Literally second from the last card in the deck. Yep. Man, this has been these have been battles here. I want to bring this mode in. Take out Spear of Heliod, maybe. We have not seen a bitter blossom once, so. Well, speak of the devil. All right. Nope, that ain't going to do it. Wind Swift Heath can get us a forest, which is pretty nice. Because then we have Night of Autumn. But if we're not going to play Night of Autumn... This is where they have time walk and they just kill us with the... Oh, let's play that. So we have a blue here, we have a white here, we have a black. Probably just getting blue-white because it's the only, uh, the only options for us here. Which means we actually don't have a second green to play Primeval Titan. Which is unfortunate. However, next turn we can go Angel, I guess. That is a good one. It's also not a bad. I feel like we're doing a lot of things here. I mean, I'm pretty sure we just block Mirror Crusader with double servo if they let us. That is totally fine with me. Sure.
Planeswalker Academy. Have a good afternoon. Have a good have a good holiday, buddy. Uh, can choose five lands. Two, three, four, five. Uh, done. Choose two creatures. You and you. Done. Sure. True name, Nemesis. You got it. Yep, take four. Well, that ain't bad. Let's brain maggot you. Uh, sort of War and Peace seems good. One, two, actually, oh god, Sword of War and Peace on this guy is pretty bad. Yeah, you can have a stupid Mole Drifter. Well, I gotta go to the family thing, so I appreciate the afternoon of entertainment. Merry Christmas. Unease Joker, have a good, have a merry, uh, merry Christmas and a happy holiday, buddy. Evoked. Fascinating. I will take three. I'm not gonna give up threats for a for a mirror. We also can't block it. Like I, I we're like, we can only block it with angels, so I'm not like super keen on that. <laughs> well, isn't that special? One, two, three. Sure. feel like that's gonna hurt you <laughs> oh modem sure give me a land so I can just kill them this turn with colonnade whatever Thank you. Zaxor, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Getting close to that bait. Wait, isn't it? Aren't we past that? Wasn't the baby daddy two months ago? Man, this primeval titan being stuck in our hand with one forest is pretty awkward. Yeah, our mana base is definitely the most awkward part of this deck. But uh, we definitely could have won round two. That was my fault. And it's game three here so feels weird having true name nemesis in the sideboard but Zach sword just dates for 17 months <laughs> yeah well you know some 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 people do um I'm gonna keep this hand it has all the colors we need except for a swamp and it's got double white double green and double blue plus a cute mox. Oh, for crying out loud. Um, blue, blue. Yeah, we'll just go colonnade here. Oh, God, if we can draw a black source for turn two and just play Bitter Blossom and opposition. Oh, God, I think we just win on the spot. That's also pretty good with opposition. All right, let's do it. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we just have it all now. Blue. We're going to sneak this down now.
I guess we're just hoping you don't have... We know you have Disenchant, so... Oh, they added three. Sure. Four. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. So it's basically like we tapped the island. That seems fine. Yeah, all right. Deal. Oh, and we get Legion's Landing, and we get to blow up your Grim Monolith? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Got him. Oh, man. History, Legion's Landing, and Opposition for the win. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Docman, thank you so much for the sub or the stipulation. Really appreciate it. Uh, despite our mana base and despite some of the... Uh, the more unconventional rounds. I think that was super fun. Uh, and it was nice to actually utilize all of these enchantments in a pretty productive way. Um, really appreciate the support. Thank you so much, dude. If you guys want to check me out on Patreon and on Twitch, the links are in the description below. You can check those out. Also, check out meundies.com slash franklapore. You get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. And you can also check out uh, Aaron Kane's custom deck boxes. His stuff is amazing. And you get 10% off with promo code FRANK. If you're interested in any of those things, you can check out my Twitch page or my, my YouTube description below for links. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time.